your Samsung tablet not charging properly. If your Galaxy Tab won't charge, check out this video to fix it. A lot of variables must be taken into account if your Galaxy Tab won't charge. Find out how to repair the issue and what measures you should take. Make sure to let the tablet plugged in for a few hours before using it. It's common for Samsung Galaxy smartphones that don't seem to be charging or powering on to simply be out of energy. You may not be able to charge your Galaxy Tab if its battery has run out. If the battery has been depleted to a particular point, it may take a few minutes before the charging light appears. See what happens when you leave your Galaxy Tab a charging for 30 minutes. A malfunctioning charging port is one of the many causes that might result in your Galaxy Tab and not being able to charge. This does not necessarily indicate that there is a problem with the port during the charging process. The charging cable could not be making proper contact due to anything as simple as dirt, lint, or another foreign item. If you want to make sure the port is working properly, try looking inside it using a magnification. If you find any dirt or debris on the inside, you should clean it up with a can of compressed air in case it was missed to prevent the system from being harmed in any way. Nothing should be put inside. The restart is beneficial for any Samsung device that is having power related problems. Even in such a dire circumstance, you should not avoid using this straightforward method. The following is what you are need to do. Maintain simultaneous pressure on the volume down button and the power key for 10 seconds or until the display of the device comes on. Whichever comes first, if it doesn't have any effect, you may go on to the next stages, which are as follows. Press and hold the volume down button first and don't release it while holding it down. Press and hold the power key. Keep both keys held down for 10 seconds or more. A very critical initial step in resolving this issue is to validate the functionality of the USB cable and adapter that you are now using, similar to the device itself. Charging accessories, particularly the USB cord, are susceptible to breaking. Inside of the cable are very fine wires, and if a significant number of these wires are damaged, the charging process could not work properly. It's possible that when charging, not enough power is being transmitted, which results in charging that is either sluggish or inefficient. Connecting a gadget that does not charge to a personal computer might be helpful in other situations. Whenever you do this, don't forget to use the USB cable that came with the device. Otherwise, you run the risk of damaging the cable in some way. In the event that your Galaxy Tab will not charge after installing a new application, your next best option is to remove the application in question or to reset the device into safe mode. In this mode, it will only be possible to launch applications that were pre-installed by the operating system because the rest of the applications that you've installed will be disabled. You should be able to identify which one of them is preventing your tablet from functioning properly since safe mode prevents any third-party applications from launching, yet the tablet is still able to power on. The underlying assumption is that one of the apps is the source of the problem. To start up your device in the safe mode, do the following. Press and hold the power button for a few seconds until the power option appear. Tap and hold the power off option until safe mode option appear. Tap safe mode and allow the device to restart. Safe mode will display in the bottom left corner of the screen. Android may, on sometimes, be prone to losing track of the real battery levels, which, in turn, may result in issues with charging. The following steps need to be taken in order to recalibrate the operating system so that it can get correct readings of the battery level. Drain the battery completely. This means using your device until it powers down by its own and the battery level reads 0%. Charge the phone until it reaches 100%. Be sure to use original charging equipment for your device and let it charge up completely. Do not unplug your device for at least two more hours and also don't use it while charging. After the elapsed time, unplug your device. Restart the device. Use your phone until it completely runs out of power again. Repeat steps again. If at this time your Galaxy Tab still won't charge, you may want to think about erasing its software by doing a factory reset. This will reset all software settings to their original factory defaults and delete any previous configurations because doing a factory reset will cause all of your applications and personal data to be deleted. 
You should be sure to establish a backup before you begin. Create a backup of your personal data and remove your Google account. Open Settings app. Scroll to and tap General Management. Tap Reset. Select Factory Data Reset from the given options. Read the information then tap Reset to continue. Tap Delete All to confirm action. An end user may not be able to resolve all of the problems that they encounter. If your Samsung Galaxy Tab is still won't charge after you've performed the factory reset, there may be a more serious problem with the device's hardware to get the item checked out and perhaps mended. Go on over to the Samsung store or service center in your area. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it if you can leave a like, subscribe to our channel or share this video to your friends. This can greatly help in making sure that Google's algorithm can find and recommend this video to others.